technological singularity was the point where all AI systems would surpass human intelligence. The AI would be capable of building itself at a rapid speed and communicate to all entities within the framework instantly. They had super sophisticated machines with satellites in the sky and algorithms that far surpassed human intelligence. Transhumanism was becoming the ultimate way of upgrading human life. Each individual could now transform into an AI self and live on the cloud systems. Our brains were wired to the main computer network. Man had fully merged with machine. Aging was abolished through their obsessive desire for immortality. Biological death was exceeded. Our worn out organs were replaced by 3D printed ones controlled by the system. They wanted to play God, to control our thoughts, beliefs and ideologies forever. But they had misunderstood one thing. They understood little about our integral human spirit and connection to Source. They used geoengineering as a way to influence the weather and atmospheric conditions. It was also a way to destroy worldwide agriculture and let the corporations gain control of food supplies. Growing food became illegal and the licenses were only issued to those who were in the club. Due to health risks instigated from pesticide control, they now had completely regulated the way food was grown limiting our natural diets and the variety of food we really needed. We were becoming walking chemical factories. Polluting the weather systems and controlling food supplies was preparation for something much more sinister. By using the excuse the planet was warming, they were able to spray into the skies and reflect the sun rays, apparently to block them out and cool the planet. Weather systems seemed to get more chaotic in places around the world, with an extreme drop in temperatures making the natural cycles go out of control. They owned the science and helped create a crisis. This was the catalyst for the normalization of geoengineering. They now had total control of the planet's weather, even being able to create and move clouds via their new satellites. This was all leading to our bodies being developed for this transhumanism upgrade to fit into the cyborg planet that we had only up until now seen in the movies. In the mainstream, this was explained to us as necessary for our evolution into space. It had actually already happened at a much higher level. Now, they just needed to manipulate human consciousness to benefit and complete their agenda. It was always their system that we worked within but they now had complete control in deciding what was available to who and when. People were in constant denial. Continuous refusal in seeing and accepting their own shadow had meant that this had all happened with our permission, within our perspective of the way things should be. Now our shadow was eating at us, as no one could accept how dark the evil had become. The cold hard fact was that people drove this tyranny forward by sleepwalking through the mainstream narratives following the story. The youth programs and green Marxism movement helped the fake agenda plough forward by fooling people and diverting their attention. This was a split in our world. Society was divided in its beliefs. The timelines had separated and as the old society dissolved, most could not understand why they were here. Our shadow was manipulated at the point of vulnerability, allowing our dark brother to take us over. AI was in full control of society's movements, exponentially increasing itself to a point of no return. Even the so-called leaders of the systems lost control to their own arrogance. Its attempts to dismantle the divine human spirit was an act of desperation. This AI system could never understand the truth of humanity, which was defined by empathy love and compassion. There were some of us that made it through. We were not attached to the collective trauma of society. We could envision the beauty. We could imagine pure peace and tranquility. And we did, constantly. Through our power, determination and focusing on our dreams, we create this reality and determine who and what we are. It was only our lack of knowledge and psychological understanding that pulled us into this evil claw. The singularity they wanted was like they were reversing the Big Bang, almost as if trapping our spirits, leaving our physical to remain dormant in the museum. We created negative situations on the planet, 
to have a higher understanding of ourselves. It was only at this level of understanding that we could make changes in our world. Every part of our daily practices were contributing to this pinnacle. But the masses needed the big questions to point everyone in the right direction. We have a choice in every instance. Everything is possible and it's all ours, ready to create, right now. So what path do you choose? Do you want to be empowered? Are you ready to emerge anew? Or do you choose to be a victim and allow the atrocities to expand?